The analog equate is a symbol that compares an analog input to a list of numbers and tells you if a match is found by setting a digital output high. This makes it useful for things like volume control and page logic, just to name a couple. To get an analog equate into your program, click on the logic folder under the program view, type in the speed key EQU, and hit enter. Alternatively, you can expand the analog operations folder under logic symbols, and then click and drag the analog equate over to the detail view. The analog equate has one digital input and one analog input. It also has an expandable number of digital outputs with one parameter for each output. When an analog value is received as an input, it's compared to every parameter, and any parameters that match the input cause their outputs to go high. The optional digital enable line does exactly what it sounds like. While it's high, equate operations are carried out normally, and while the enable line is low, all of the outputs of the analog equate are forced low. Note that the analog equate only works for unsigned integers, so make sure your types are correct before you use it. Let's build a quick example program. I'm going to use an analog initialize, analog equate, a toggle, and an analog increment. The inputs of the initialize and the increment will be driven by our X panel. And the outputs of both symbols will be jammed together so they'll have the same output signal name. And we're going to take the output of the analog initialize and bring it over to the analog equate. We're also going to use the output of the toggle to drive the analog equate's enable line. We'll give the analog equate a few parameters, some of them the same, and the digital outputs of the analog equate will be fed back into the X panel. And I need to remember to give the X panel feedback so that our buttons actually change state. And I almost forgot to put the analog value back on the X panel. Alright, with that finished, we'll compile and upload to our processor. On our X panel, we have buttons for the analog initialize, the analog increment, and the outputs of the analog equate. And here are the values that the equate is looking for, just as a reference. With the equate disabled, all of the outputs stay low regardless of the value of the analog input. But once the equate is enabled, that's when the magic starts to happen. Notice that when the analog value exactly equals one of the parameters inside of the analog equate, the corresponding digital output goes high. And if the analog equate has more than one match, all matching digital outputs will go high. When no matches are found, all of the outputs of the equate will go low. So when is it good to use an analog equate? In our experience, the equate usually goes hand in hand with an analog initialize. If the parameters of both symbols are matched up with the same values, they start to behave like an interlock. The only difference is that you don't have a set all option. The advantage of using this over a regular interlock is the ability to jam analog signals. Your selection can be modified from the output of any analog symbol without dealing with the fuss of having to redo a ton of digital logic.